Not all the details about the plot of a film come from within the film itself, because Frozen's new sequel is all set to tell you about what took place between Frozen 2 and 3 itself. After what happened to Frozen 2, a new podcast series titled Frozen Forces of Nature will now continue the story of Elsa and Anna in a solo story that will introduce new characters. This is also Disney's first attempt at podcasting, and the news arrives during extended anticipation for Frozen 3. But the good news doesn't stop there. With only 7 million fewer views than the original, Extraction 2 has entered Netflix's top 10 most popular films list. Cool, right? So in today's video, how about I give you more of such golden bells? Let's begin. And finally, with 129.3 million views, Extraction 2 has exceeded the first film, but ranks at 8th among Netflix's original movie. Still, in terms of total hours viewed, the sequel came out on top over the original, with 267.3 million hours viewed, as opposed to 266.9 million. So for those of you who have still not watched it, here's a bit of a spoiler. In the sequel to the Smash 2020 Netflix action film, Chris Hemsworth reprises his role as the mercenary Tyler Rake for a dangerous new assignment under the direction of Sam Hargrave. Go watch it now! For starters, the highly anticipated science fiction sequel, starring Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya, has been pushed back from its original November 3rd window to March 15th, 2024. Now this news does not come as much of a golden bell, but it does come after a great deal of thought. Currently, Warner Brothers and Legendary's realignment has also resulted in the delay of Godzilla x Kong, The New Empire, the newest installment in the MonsterVerse franchise, from March 15th to April 12th, 2024. Still, Warner Brothers has put itself in a tough spot by delaying the release to March 15th. And of course, only two weeks later, on March 29th, 2024, Robert Pattinson's Mickey 17 would be released in theaters, directed by Oscar winner Bong Joon-ho. So since more people would want to see Bong's movies once Parasite won all those Oscars in 2019, it might hurt both of their box office totals. The Hollywood Reporter also claims that despite the uncertainty caused by the strikes being organized by the WGA and the Actors' Equity Association, WB remains dedicated to releasing films in theaters. So fingers crossed for the bigger picture, right? That said, following the recent postponement of filmmaker Denis Villeneuve's next science fiction epic, Dune Part 2, Another huge blockbuster, Godzilla x Kong The New Empire, has also been delayed. According to various media outlets, the original release date of March 14, 2024 has been pushed back to April 12, 2024 for Godzilla vs Kong The New Empire. This means that while the delay is not as major as that of the other movies, it continues the pattern of setbacks in the wake of the continuing Hollywood strikes. About the movie itself, the sixth film in the legendary pictures monsterverse, Godzilla x Kong The New Empire, will be reteaming director Adam Wingard with the guests Dan Stevens, who will play the lead role. Anyway, on the bright side, Godzilla x Kong The New Empire has a new release date of April 12th, 2024, so monster movie fans won't have to wait too much longer to return to the monsterverse. But still, a lot of boo-boos for the film fraternity, right? So putting the bad news aside, allow me to share something on a higher note. While numerous rumors that The Equalizer 3 will conclude the Denzel Washington action franchise are making rounds just about now, director Antoine Fuqua isn't rolling out further adventures with Robert McCall. In fact, Fuqua was thinking about writing an origin tale for the franchise that would involve de-aging the main character, a hand. Since Harrison Ford's summer blockbuster, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, and Martin Scorsese's 2019 mob epic, The Irishman, which gave Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, and Al Pacino a computer-generated injection of youth, de-aging actors has now become a popular filmmaking tool. Additionally, there may be room for a prequel film. Director Antoine Fuqua told NME, adding that he still wants Washington to be involved and is considering employing de-aging technology to make the film. Obviously, Fuqua is just guessing, and he hasn't even brought up the idea of this to his star yet. So don't hold your breath. So let's just hear what he has to say about it, right? On the plus side, the Equalizer 3 will be in theaters as of September 1st, 2023, so there's that. Great news, you guys. You simply won't have long to wait since the release date for Rebel Moon 2 has been announced. You heard that right. The upcoming Netflix sci-fi has been called Snyder's More Mature Take on Star Wars, and it is one of the most awaited movies of the year. Also, now that the first part of this anticipated two-part event is almost here, Netflix has released a trailer for Rebel Moon Part 1, along with additional information about the upcoming sequel. Not to forget, at GamesCon 2023, Netflix showed even off new gameplay for Rebel Moon, 
and announced that the sequel would be arriving on April 19, 2024. The Scargiver was also revealed as the subtitle, even though its purpose is currently unknown. Now I know what you are wondering. These days, Hollywood sequels to established series tend to be spaced out over several years. This is mostly because the success of the original film's box office performance frequently determines whether or not a sequel will be made. So given that the first film hit streaming services in December, releasing the second in April is an unexpected move, but one that, assuming the first film does well, will likely be well received by audiences. Moving on, even though Snyder isn't ready to spill the beans on too many specifics for the next Army of the Dead sequel right now, he did just drop a hint about the twisted nature of the franchise's future. During an exclusive visit to the set of Rebel Moon, Snyder discussed the benefits of working in both the Nuts zombie series and his new sci-fi ventures Netflix universes. But how twisted might Planet of the Dead possibly get? Well, Snyder has ultimately stated that numerous hints about potential events in subsequent films in the Army of the Dead series were planted in the first film. For one, the film's alpha zombie, Zeus, was introduced as possibly being a bioweapon being delivered to Iran before he escaped and terrorized Las Vegas. Then again, the time loop scene in the first film where the robbery crew seems to run into their skeletons is another significant and bizarre clue. So all in all, there are many hypotheses about the significance of these signals, but it remains to be seen which ones will be resolved and which will remain tempting dead ends. Of course, it would be absurd if the sequel to Army of the Dead experimented more with time travel and dug deeper into the zombie franchise's apparent military roots. But for now, we can only hope for the best. Also, there is no confirmed date for the film's release, so just hang in there. And now, time for some really lighthearted discussion. Just recently, it was reported that there would be a new podcast series set in the Frozen universe with a plot that would go on from where the third film left off. So with the sequel's record-breaking success, Disney is planning to make further entries in the franchise. According to reports, a new podcast series will follow the adventures of Elsa and Anna as fans wait for Frozen 3. Frozen Forces of Nature is a new 12-episode series that will contain a fresh tale and many new characters, as well as some returning voices from the original film. So while the premiere date for the series has not been set, an official logline has been released in which Queen Anna must quickly find a solution to the problem caused by the spirits of nature before things spiral further out of control. The Duke of Wesselton's nephew is also lurking about. Yet as Anna and Elsa explore the Enchanted Forest, they discover copper devices that are upsetting the balance of the forest's ecosystem. Who built these contraptions? And why are they in the woods? How can Anna and Elsa stop them? And is it even a priority? You'll have to tune in. Then again, while it's yet uncertain if podcasts will be successful in attracting new viewers, they may prove to be an effective means of maintaining the franchise's visibility among the following it already has. Again, given that four years have passed since the release of the sequel, and there has been no word on when the third installment will arrive in theaters. To that end, a podcast may be a low-budget approach to go more into the Frozen 2 ending and bring back fond memories of Elsa, Anna, and the realm of Arendelle, right? Meanwhile, Dave Bautista and Jason Momoa, two actors who were in talks to star in the MGM-produced film before the current actor strikes, are among others who are slated to appear in the upcoming The Wrecking Crew. Along with that, screenwriter Jonathan Tropper has been brought on board, Previously, he oversaw shows including Warrior and Banshee and collaborated with Jason Momoa on C, an Apple series. Not to mention, long before the writer's strike, Tropper had already been contracted for the project. The Wrecking Crew is currently under wraps, including its plot and when it will be released. But even then, it has been labeled as a buddy action comedy, which sounds like it might be a good fit for Momoa and Bautista, if you ask me. James Gunn has given a status report on the new DC Universe's timeline. Currently, Superman Legacy, which Gunn wrote and directed, is the only DC Universe show with a confirmed release date, which is July 11, 2025. Although Blue Beetle and Superman Legacy are the first live-action features from the new DC Universe, Creature Commandos is still the first animated series from the DCU, scheduled to be released in 2024. On top of that, eight more works set in the DC Universe have been announced, where the movies on the list are Batman the Brave and the Bold, Swamp Thing, The Authority, and Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. Meanwhile, Booster Gold, Green Lantern, Waller, and Paradise Lost are all examples of the expected DCU series. Good day for some movie news, right? Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all the latest movie updates. Thanks for watching!